math typesetting is usually very difficult to read, and this is especially true if you're using LaTeX. So one way to improve this is by using Unicode characters. So if you look at these two equations, they both render to the same thing. But I think the second one is easier to read, and that's because instead of writing mu and sigma like this, I just use the Unicode characters. And second example here, instead of writing nebla and diff, I just use the Unicode characters. And final example, I think the Unicode version is so much more readable that it doesn't even need to be rendered. The way I write these Unicode characters is by using software that changes what I write. So if I type triangle and backslash, it automatically turns it into the triangle symbol. And same for union backslash, it gets turned into the union symbol. The software I use to do the text replacement is called Espanto, and you can simply install it for your operating system. And the way it works is that you have this list of triggers and replacements. And here, a double backslash just means a single backslash. So if I write double A backslash, it gets turned into the double A symbol. So in this file, I have about 900 different math symbols, and all of them are just typed symbols. You can see all the symbols here. I think they cover basically all of math, and also they are quite intuitive and easy to remember. If you want to be able to type all of these symbols, you can just download my Espanso package. Assuming you have already installed Espanso, you can just run this command, and it should install it. There is also a LaTeX package, which does basically the same thing as my package, but it uses LaTeX triggers instead of types. I don't think it's as intuitive and easy to remember as types, but if you're used to LaTeX, I think it may be worth it for you. But you'll have to be careful, because by default, the LaTeX doesn't really work with Unicode characters. You have to use package Unicode math, and you also have to change the compiler. So in Overleaf, you can go into menu, and then you can change compiler to Silatech or Lulatech. And then you can compile and it will work. One issue is that if you're inside an equation, it's obviously going to be faster to type triangle than to type triangle and backslash. But one way to fix this is to make a bunch of custom shorthands. So for example, if I type try, it turns it into the triangle. And this is obviously faster to type than just the triangle. And if you make a bunch of these shorthands, I think this method is going to be a faster way to type. But there's an even faster way to type math, and it's by using layers. A layer is just a custom modifier. For example, you can make a custom modifier such that when you hold down space, all these keys become Greek symbols. Or maybe if you hold down caps lock, all these keys become common math symbols. If you're interested in how to make this work, uh, you'll have to download its program called Canada. You can watch this video I made um, where I explain how to do it. Uh, you only need to watch this layers and implementation part though. And one final benefit of the Unicode method is that it works basically everywhere. So for example, I can type here on signal. And it will render without any issues.